Martine has been a role model to tennis players throughout her career and a promising youngster currently making some noise at Georgia Tech here in the USA could do worse than follow her work ethic. Mind you, he's not doing too badly under his college coaches right now as he's seeded fourth for the NCAA tournament which begins on Wednesday and has his heart set on making at least the top 100 on the ATP Tour. And recently, Mark McKay went to meet him. Guillermo Gomez is a long way from home. The native of Alicante, Spain, is a junior at Georgia Tech in Atlanta. The industrial engineering major is also a major player on the university's men's tennis team. Gomez is ranked third in the U.S. among collegians in a sport that he envisions someday playing professionally. I, mean, I see myself being top 100. That's my goal, you know. But obviously, as everybody, the, I would like to win Wimbledon. That's my, you know, my dream tournament. But I like to be, you know, real, uh, like think, you know, and I think that being top 100 is a pretty good goal for me. It's no surprise to learn that Gomez touts Rafael Nadal as his role model. The two used to practice together at an academy in Mallorca, and those sessions have left a lasting impression on the young Spaniard. It's awesome how he can be that good. You know, you, maybe you see it as not as much talent as the others, but it's just his mind is just impressive and how it's like the difference in between work and talent you know and I really like how just working you can do that you can be that good. Can he be up in the Nadal ranks of you know, the Spanish players it's, it's it, you know that that's a tough task uh, you know the only time will tell that but uh, to be a good professional player and to make it to all the Grand Slams to play in the US Open uh, he's gonna have to totally dedicate himself to it once he gets out of school uh, but yeah I, I see that happening. Gomez, like a growing number of international players, opted to play in the United States since it's not possible to go to school and play tennis at the same time in Spain. What do you think about the facilities here? I think that they're unbelievable. It's, yeah. it's very impressive. We don't have any, like, in my city, we don't have indoor courts. No? So in here, it's actually unbelievable that it rains, you go indoor, you know? Right, In right. Spain, it's more like if it rains, it's vacation. While Gomez is now settled into his surroundings, it was a bit of an adjustment for the 22-year-old, having to forego afternoon siestas and search out a taste of home. I found some Spanish restaurants that try to copy the Spanish food. It's not actually the same, you know. Uh, they, I found places where they tell you that there is this certain Spanish food and then it's a sausage, you know, a regular sausage. Guillermo Gomez is hungry to be the very best. A Spaniard who's keeping up the tradition of a nation that's already produced its share of talented tennis players. Mark McKay, CNN, Atlanta. We'll divert to the